Today, we're learning about the artist Diego Rivera. Diego Rivera was a Mexican painter born in 1886. He made art that depicted the lives of the Mexican people. Through a government program in 1921, he started a series of murals in public buildings. He was inspired by the political ideas of the Mexican Revolution. He wanted to create art that reflected the lives and working class of the native people of Mexico. In 1929, Diego Rivera married fellow artist Frida Kahlo. They shared an interest in radical politics. In the 1930s and 40s, Diego Rivera painted several murals in the United States, and some of his work created lots of controversy. In 1939, Diego and Frida decided to get a divorce, but the pair reunited the following year and got remarried. Since Diego's death in 1957, he is remembered as an important figure in 20th century art. We'll use this painting titled Flower Cellar as inspiration for our drawing today. You will need a sheet of paper, something to draw with, and something to color with. Let's start by drawing the woman's head, a circle in the middle of our paper. Now I'll draw two curved lines for her hair and a line around her head and color it in. Now we're starting to draw the sash that holds the basket. Start with a small circle below her head and a long rectangle. To draw her forearms, draw two diagonal rectangles from that small circle. Now, two rectangles that are drawn straight out from that small circle to complete her sash. Now let's draw her shoulders, curved lines from her head down to her forearms going behind that sash, and then two diagonal lines from her forearms to the bottom of the rectangle to create her shawl. Now let's draw her skirt two diagonal lines from her elbows, and then a horizontal line at the bottom. To create the basket, draw two horizontal lines from the sides of her head down to the sash, and then down to the bottom of her skirt. To draw our flowers, we're going to start by using a V shape and then a curved line at the top. Continue drawing that V shape and curved line to fill up her basket. Once you get to the top, your flowers can turn into simple ovals because you don't see as much of the flower anymore. Let's add the center part of each flower by drawing a curved line and then an oval at the bottom of that curved line in each flower.
Now draw lines between all of the spaces of your flowers. These are the stems. The final line we'll draw is our horizon line. Time to add color. And now you have a beautiful drawing inspired by the great Mexican artist Diego Rivera.